Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I'm working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. And in today's demo, we are going to see how we can import a backpack file and create a database into Azure SQL. In a lot of times we work like uh, there is on-prem SQL and we want to migrate to a Azure SQL, then also we take a backup and restore into Azure SQL. That is the scenario we are trying to see. And other scenario can happen that you have existing backup and you want to restore that one into Azure SQL for some demo purpose or some testing purpose. That is also you want to do. Let's go ahead and see how we can import a backpack file in Azure SQL. So for this demo, we are into our Azure subscription and we are into soft with ADF demos RG. We have this Azure SQL server, which is logical server created. We will go ahead and import a backup database, which is stored into backpack format. And this is worldwide importer database, which is a standard given by Microsoft for uh, testing and demo purpose. There are two variations. One is OLTP and one is data warehousing. So I'm going to do with the normal the standard transactional database which is OLTP so let me go ahead and click on import database and now I have to select the backup and backup can't be selected into local machine so we can use any of that storage we can create the blob storage account we can put into any lakes or a uh, which is supported into Azure Lake and we can do that one so let me go ahead and go inside this uh, one of the storage created beforehand so i will go ahead and say that i have a backup so i will do that create a container and in backup i will go ahead and upload my backpack which is into my local machine or maybe in some uh, local shared network it is there so i can go ahead and select that and i can upload that one so it will take few minutes to upload this one because this is 58.17 MB. It is in backpack, so it is archived format. And when we will restore using this backpack, it is going to take more time because then it is going to unzip that everything and it is going to run the, all the script with data. So we will see that one. Let it, this upload happens. So now this backpack file has been uploaded. Now I can go ahead and select that and click on select button. Now it taken what was the pricing tier and other details was inside that backpack file. It given the name also for database name and I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to put six server admin login when we have created this one that that time we have given. I'm going to insert that. And this server admin login can be an AD and can be SQL server authentication type, depending upon what is enabled on that Azure SQL server. Right now it is only enabled SQL server type. That is why it is coming. So I will go ahead and click on import database. Now it says that request submitted to import database. We can go into history and see what is the progress. So history can come into left side data management section where import and export history is there right now nothing is coming it will take few seconds to pop up it here that what is the status and other things right now it is running on progress equals to one percent it will take 10 a minute around because it it will run all the script which has some data and we will see how it is working after once it is say that progress has been completed this completion time is uh, is that when it is pulling the data and displaying it is nothing related that it has completed so let's wait for some time and then see if we see right now uh, progress is equals to 80 percent and it will complete in some time so let this run now it says that status is complete let's go ahead into our SQL database and we can see that one is, is there and worldwide import standard status is online. We can go over there and we can see more details here. We can see all the connection strings for connecting from any database or any place. We will use this one information. We can also connect using query editor per view. Let me put the name and password. 
let me click on OK. OK, I need to allow this IP. Let me click OK. Now it is connected to our query editor. I can go and expand the table section. I can see all the tables. I can go ahead and run any query to see any data is present. Yes, this is present over there. I can try to see if I'm able to connect using connection string or not. So I can go and grab this uh, database name and let me grab this one. I will go into Azure Data Studio and I will try to create a connection. I will put the server details. Server details should contain, I guess, TCP also. So I will put that one. This is SQL login. So I will go ahead and use my user ID here. And for password, let me enter my password here. And let me connect. Let me expand this one. Let me go to database section. I can go from here also. Let me go and let me grab and let me select any other table. Let me run this table details query. I can see the people name and other details. So this is how we store a database from any backup, which is stored in backup or kept into storage. That's how we restore and create a new database from the backup. I hope you like this one. Thank you. Mm -hmm.